Hey guys, we're going to be looking at areas above and below the x-axis in this session. Let's get started. Uh, let's have a look at this um, sine graph here, just to get an idea of it. Uh, let's put that as A, B, and C. Now we know that the area above the um, x-axis would come out as positive, and the area below the x-axis would come as a negative area. Now, if we want to calculate this, um, trying to do, well, let's say, I'm just going to call this f of x at the moment, we can find integral of f of x dx, but we can't do it from c to a. Um, if you remember, if you actually do it from c to a, uh, you'd actually get an answer of zero in this case, because it's actually a, uh, you can kind of see that it's like half of it is above the x-axis and half of it is below, and if we do it between c and a, we're going to end up with zero. So, we can't actually use this. But instead, what we do is we almost split them up into two areas. The first part is between C and B. We're going to work out the negative area first. But we're going to take the absolute value of it. All right, the reason we're going to take absolute value is because we're looking at area. An area needs to be positive. Um, you know, you can't get a negative area. And we're going to add it to the absolute value of the positive side. Well, that's still going to be positive, but we're still going to do it anyway. And this time, as you can see, it's from b to a, integral of f of x dx. So as I was uh, saying earlier in one of the other videos as well, guys, is that anytime you're working with area under curves, definite integrals, it is always a good idea just to do a, a quick sketch just to see what you're calculating because that'll always help you um, with the right answer. Okay, let's have a look at an example. All right, here's an example. Calculate the area between the graph of y equals x multiplied by x plus 3, multiplied by x minus 2, and the x-axis. Um, like I said, I mean, drawing the diagram always helps. So in this case, I've given myself a, a quick little sketch here, uh, and I've kind of shaded in the region that I'm looking at um, calculating. So working this out, um, I'm going to split this up into two zones. I've got zone A there and zone B. I work out zone A first. Zone A is between uh, 0 and negative 3, and that's integral of f of x. I'm going to um, expand it and make it simple for me. So expanding this would be x cubed plus x squared minus 6x dx. So this is zone A at the moment. But I also need zone B, and zone B is between 2 and 0. And I have the same function as I had before. All right, so working zone A out, well, integrating it first, I'm going to get x to the power of 4 divided by 4 plus x cubed divided by 3 minus 3x three squared. And that's, of course, between 0 and negative 3. Sorry, I forgot the plus symbol there because I'm actually going to add a and b at the end. So working out the, um, what the area on, well, the a, the a zone is, I know um, because it's 0 and there's x's in pretty much every term inside the bracket, I know the first bracket is going to be 0. Take away, and now I need to substitute negative 3 wherever x is. Yes, it's a long-winded process, but you can do this in the calculator. Remember that, guys? Uh, simplifying this, I'm going to get 63 over 4. Now I need to work out uh, the B side. Working B side, I'm going to use the um, same integral from what I did in A, and that's between 2 and 0. Once again, I keep forgetting the plus signs, because I know I'm adding A and B together. There we go. Working out uh, what B is, uh, so I've got to substitute 2 uh, wherever X is, and of course, I know that when I substitute 0, because there's x's everywhere, it's just going to be minus 0. Simplifying this, I actually get negative 16 over 3. Um, and that's all right, because if you look at b, uh, the zone b is actually under the x-axis. Therefore, I am supposed to get a negative area. So, to um, accommodate this, remember that we need to take um, absolute values of both of them. Well, the first one, that's going to be 63 over 4 anyway. 
but this one will become positive 16 over 3. Adding these two, I get 253 over 12 units squared. All right, that's about it for this session, guys. Uh, hopefully you got the, um, the idea of area between the graph um, and where it's above and below the x-axis. All right, thanks for watching.